this video, we'll show you how to generate woven fabrics with the new cloth weave filter in Substance 3D Sampler. This new functionality helps you create custom woven fabrics with personalized colors using the drawing features of Sampler. Let's get started. First, add the cloth weave filter in the layer stack by searching for cloth weave. A default woven fabric appears in the viewport. For faster feedback when tweaking, you might want to switch your resolution to 1K. Let's go through the basic parameters. You can change the weave pattern with presets from a drop-down list. You can increase or decrease the pattern size to set the number of warp or weft threads. The value of pattern size should be a multiple of the number of steps indicated by the pattern name. So for example, the herringbones twill six steps needs a pattern size set to six, 12, 18 and so on for the twill pattern to repeat properly. Let's customize the weaving next. Click on the draw custom weave paintbrush icon and draw the 2D viewport to modify the design. Painting white will make warp or vertical threads appear. Painting black will make weft or horizontal threads appear. And if you paint middle gray with a value of 0.5, you erase previous values. If you want to begin from a blank pattern, you can select only warp or only weft in the weave pattern drop down list. Just get creative and draw any custom pattern. Once you're done drawing, you can repeat the weaves with the size multiplier. By default, the threads, but not the drawn pattern, will be repeated. You change that by activating the lock weave to size multiplier switch. We'll set the size multiplier back to one for now. Let's start changing the color and design of the threads. Collapse the basic parameters and open the warp one and weft one submenus to modify their design. Color fiber changes the color of the warp thread. Color amount lets you create multicolor threads. Tweak the width parameter to change the thread size or move them with offset. You change thread design with the thread or fiber finish drop down lists. And by using the ribbon fiber and anisotropic metallic options, you can create custom fiber materials. By default, the anisotropy level and angle maps are hidden, so enable them through the channel settings in the bottom left. To paint colors for the weaving, go back into the basic parameters and activate the color custom weave parameter. Then click on the paintbrush next to it. This lets you draw color patterns in the 2D view. These patterns repeat and define the overall color of your woven fabric. If you don't want to paint, you can plug a color map into the slot to drive the colors. The size multiplier adjusts the resolution and size of the color threading. To create more advanced designs, you can stack multiple cloth weave filters on top of each other in the layer stack. If we select the top cloth weave layer, scroll down and then click on Advanced, we find a blending mode drop down. Switching the blending mode to Height Blend interlaces the two weave layers. The Height Position slider sets the relative height of the weave layer. We switch back to the copy mode and change the width of the warp to 1.15. Then, in the Mask submenu, we activate Use Custom Mask and start painting by clicking on the Mask Paintbrush. Now, you can draw a custom pattern to show or hide the bottom weaving. Painting white hides the current weave. Painting black shows it. You invert this mask behavior with the Custom Mask Invert toggle. Now you can draw patterns to combine the two layers and create gorgeous woven fabric with complex details. Best of all, this also works with more than two layers. So with the cloth weave filter, you design or recreate highly realistic digital woven fabrics for your garments. These materials can be exported and used in any offline renderer or game engine available on the market. Thanks for watching.